Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome to an exciting video. Today, I'm going over 25 gifts for RVers for the holidays. Now, Matt's RV Reviews Fashion, we have a little twist, and this is, in my opinion, going to be the most entertaining gifts for the holiday video, because 16 of my gifts, I 100% think you should get for the holidays, and nine of the gifts, I think are absolutely horrible. They are not good for Christmas, or Hanukkah, or any holiday, birthdays, or whatever. So make sure you stick around and see all 25. And just so everybody knows, all 25 gifts, if I think they're good or if I don't think they're good, they're all down below. They're all links below. Some of them are sponsors, others of them aren't sponsors, just so everybody knows. And if there is a sponsor or they're doing a promotion with a promo code, it will be next to the link down below. I'll also put it on the screen. But without further ado, I do have a randomizer on right now. So the first gift here is memberships. Okay, so this is, this is definitely a great gift. This is a gift, this is not a gift. This is definitely a gift and I think it's a great gift. We're talking memberships to Thousand Trails, to Harvest Host, to National Park System. You know, they, they range anywhere from $89 to thousands of dollars depending on what Thousand Trails package you get. So even if it's not for a spouse and you get somebody the National Park package, I know they're gonna absolutely love this gift. Harvest Host is an amazing gift. I, I think that's inexpensive. I'm not affiliated with, with any of these people, but this makes a great gift for the RVer for the holidays. Next up, uh, oh, leveling blocks. Eat. That is a no. Do not get people leveling blocks for the holidays. There's another alternative that I think is going to be better for, um, one, for overall, but two, especially for the holidays. Listen, guys, these are bright, they're colorful, but they are horrible gifts. Do not get anybody leveling blocks for the holidays. What's next? Man, oh, an electric e-bike. So this is definitely a great gift for the holidays, okay? Now, with that said, there's many different brands, and I'm not, I'm not gonna go into specifics. I like electric for, for the, um, I like electric for the e-bikes. But I'm also gonna add a little caveat to this. I like the electric scooters. I think they are absolutely fantastic. Uh, Izzy and MJ have like a Valero or something like that when it comes to scooters. I'm trying to get in contact with the scooter company, so hopefully by the time this video is out, I'll have a recommendation down below. But I think the electric scooters are even cooler. It doesn't matter if it's an e-bike or a scooter. Oh, not only that, the scooters are easier to store in an RV than the uh, electric bikes. So. Either way, electric bikes or scooters, I think both of them are absolutely fantastic gifts for the holidays. What's next? Oh, a first aid kit. So hang on, before I continue, a lot of these gifts, the nine gifts that I don't recommend, um, they were on other bloggers or other websites gifts that they do recommend. And let me tell you, when it comes to first aid kit, that is definitely not a recommendation. Guys, I'm not saying don't get a first aid kit, okay? Get a first aid kit. Do not give a first aid kit for the holidays, okay? Just don't do that. Nobody wants a first aid kit. Listen, buy them a first aid kit, yes. Should you have a first aid kit on you? Absolutely, but a first aid kit for the holidays, that's absolutely a no-no. So the next one is RV education. Yes, I love this. So you guys know I'm friends with Todd and Tony from NRVTA, which is the National RV Training Academy. And I think this is one of the best gifts for RVers, especially if you have that person in your life that's impossible to shop for. Here's a little video clip. It's only about 30 seconds long from Todd explaining about what the NRVTA Training Academy does, both the Academy in Texas and the at-home version. Hi, Todd Henson here with the National RV Training Academy, and RVTechCourse.com came to us asking us to build a program for you, the RV owner. 
I've taken the NRVTA fundamentals course in person and that's excellent. But if you can't go in person, the digital way is the way to go. It is amazing. They've just redone it and it's fantastic. You'll learn that most of the problems on your RV is easy to fix and easy to find. You just need to know how. If you want to learn how to take care of your RV and fix all those little problems, this is the best option out there. Moving your RV is like driving through a hurricane during an earthquake. Parts break and many items need to be maintained. Save time and money by gaining the confidence you need in order to take on a majority of the problems you come across. Click the link below to learn RV electrical systems, propane systems, water systems, appliances, exterior systems such as hot skin and slide outs. Don't get caught with your RV in the shop. Get the home study course today. Worry about the road, not the repairs. Great. Also, just so you guys know, I do have a promo code with them. That's down in the description below. I'll also have that promo code there if you guys want to get a Black Friday savings. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I believe it's either 10 or 20% off the at-home program. So make sure you do that. And if you do go to the training, make sure you tell them you heard about it from Matt's RV Reviews. Next up is... A Furion backup camera. I absolutely love this idea. This is a great gift. I highly recommend. Now note, this is going to be a gift for very old motorhomes, for travel trailers, fifth wheels, or toy haulers. If somebody you know has a new motorhome, do not buy them the backup camera because the motorhomes come with the backup cameras. But when it does come to travel trailer, fifth wheel, toy haulers, I think this is an excellent gift. Um, Furion is the brand that we recommend and uh, I, I'll link Amazon down below for that one. Next up is a coffee machine. Preferably a small coffee machine. I don't know if you use this machine or the Keurig or whatever. I don't know what machine. I'm actually gonna talk to Andrea about, oh, the Nespresso, that's the one she uses. Guys, the coffee machine brand to me doesn't matter. But RVers, they love coffee. And when you're thinking of RVers and you're thinking of somebody that loves coffee, make sure you find a smaller one that's easy to pack and unpack. You don't need the really nice expensive one that somebody might have at their house. When it comes to RVs, it's all about being small, compact, nimble, and easy to, um, easy to travel with. So the next up is Universal towing mirrors guys this is a big go do not get this gift for anybody for the holidays here's what i mean the thought of mirror clips or mirror extenders for somebody with their tow vehicles is a great thought and a great idea here's the problem the universal ones they're cheap and they suck and listen we sell them at the store and you can buy them i'll even link them down below do not buy the universal ones. The problem is there's so many different year make and models and trim levels of vehicles. Not only that, if you do get mirror extenders, you have to spend the money and get the proper ones that are made for your truck. I know this because I bought universal mirror extenders and I made it about 10 miles down the road until one of them fell off and it was falling off because it was shaking and vibrating everywhere and I couldn't even see out of it. So that's one of those gifts where unfortunately you have to go with the, um, you just, you just have to spend more money. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm saying spend more money and get the actual ones. So next up is portable but quality tools. For an example, Will recommended this one, like an impact wrench. So Will said that people love portable tools. You definitely need tools when it comes to uh, RVs. I would recommend portable ones. And Will says you definitely want an impact wrench. That is definitely above my pay grade. So I don't know much about it. I'm not gonna dive into it. But Will said that would be a gift that he would like. So you know what? Maybe I will buy Will an impact wrench for this holidays. That's a good idea. Next one, another tool another will recommendation a portable air compressor again again this is funny because will's had 
three or four flat tires so I totally hear what he's saying but you're gonna want one of these again you're not gonna want one of the plug-in ones you're gonna want one of the battery ones because again RVers when you're using these you're not gonna be next to a power outlet you're probably gonna be at the side of a highway somewhere so this would be a huge recommendation next up t-shirts preferably customized RV t-shirts. Guys, I'm calling this a great gift that I think you should buy. Now, when I went over this list with Will and Jen, Jen gave me a look and she said that she doesn't think a t-shirt's a great gift. I don't know what she's talking about because let me tell you guys something. I like custom t-shirts and when you guys are part of these Facebook groups, the Alliance Owner Clubs, the Fleetwood Owners Clubs, there's these spammers out there that make these custom t-shirts. I don't think they're bad because what they'll do is, like an Alliance Avenue says, it says on the t-shirt, um, it's an Alliance Avenue thing. And it's a picture of an Alliance Avenue. And people don't like the spammers because they're spammers. But I, th I think the idea of, if I have an Avenue fifth wheel, me getting an Avenue shirt's pretty cool. And I hope Will isn't watching this part of the video because Will and Jen are definitely, now Jen's getting one too. They're definitely gonna get the custom t-shirts. Next gift is, oh my gosh, a badminton set. Or, let me, let me rephrase it, a portable sports set. Guys, this is not a recommendation. I can't tell you how many people buy these little cheap badminton sets for $19.99 or $29.99 and they think it's going to make a great gift. Guys, don't waste the money. Don't buy them. They suck. Nobody plays badminton. And again, there's going to be somebody that comments down below, I play badminton. Well, if you do play badminton, you're not playing it with the crappy little set. The whole point is don't buy the crappy little sets. If somebody likes something enough, they will buy the actual badminton set which will play a lot better and it won't break after three swings of the racket. Next up, ah, Lippert Swag, one of our sponsors, one of our biggest sponsors that we absolutely love. Now guys, listen, when I say Lippert Swag, here's what I mean. I'm gonna throw out a whole bunch of things. Lippert has fold up chairs. They have the big bear chairs. They have bamboo collapsible tables. They have these nice fold up gazebo things. They have rugs for the patio rugs. They have portable grills now. Guys, check out Lippert. Lippert makes fantastic stuff. And again, I'm calling this Lippert Swag. Oh, by the way, recommend, definitely get that gift. I'm calling it Lippert Swag because Lippert makes stuff designed for RVers. Now, Lippert does not make the best grill in the world, but they're gonna make the portable grill that's gonna work well for your travel trailer, fifth wheel toy hauler, and being mobile. You know what I'm saying? That's what Lippert's all about. Lippert's about finding stuff that's going to be functional for RVers. All right, next up is, oh, a Jackery. So this is not a sponsor. I don't know who they are. Again, this is a Will and Jen recommendation, but Jackery is, I have it as like a little portable battery generator type of thing. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about Jackery, but it's a great gift for the holidays. They're not too, ex they're, they're expensive enough to be a nice gift, but, oh, by the way, recommendation. Uh, they're expensive enough to be a nice gift, but cheap enough to where they're not breaking the bank. And again, with RVers, things go wrong. You lose power, you're down at the side of the road. So to have a little power generator box is very cool. That's an awesome recommendation from Will and Jen. Next up, a cell phone booster. Guys, for the holidays, so first, nothing's wrong with a cell phone booster. For the holidays, I'm saying this is not a good gift. Don't buy this for somebody for the holidays, here's why. One, it's kind of um, kind of a lame gift, I'm gonna say. But two, when it comes to cell phone boosters or wireless boosters or whatever, people are very particular. There's so many different phone clubs and phone plans and how much this do you need? How much that do you need? And there's difference between a phone boost and an extender and something actually like Starlink. Guys, when it comes to this stuff, personally, I would stay away from it unless you're buying it specifically for your spouse um, I would stay away from it just because it's always very 
specific and so I don't think it's a great gift for the holidays. Guys, next up is an RV mattress. absolutely freaking lootly Guys, RVmattress.com is one of the biggest sponsors to the shows and they have several different things between mattresses and blankets and pillows. All of it's custom made and designed for RVers. Let me kick it over to the office so I can show you some of the things. And guys, we are a little over halfway through. You are not going to want to miss the remaining gifts because there's some good ones here that you haven't even thought about. But let's talk about some of the different styles of mattresses, blankets, and accessories that you can get with RVmattress.com. The first being the Dream Foam Hybrid which is universal comfort with cooling on contact. Next is the Signature Hybrid, which is their best seller. It is patented superior sleep at a factory direct price. Or my personal favorite, which is the Brooklyn Aurora Lux. Best in class cooling technology in a premium luxury hybrid. Best part about it, it is free shipping. You get a 120 night sleep trial guaranteed and they are 100% made in the USA. All you have to do is take it out of the box, lay it out, and watch it expand. Make sure you check out my video on all the different types of mattresses. I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description below. Also, RVmattress.com has accessories. You can get these awesome pillows, soft pillows, cool pillows, sheets that are tailored to fit the mattress that you have and all new weighted blankets. They actually have a 10 pound and a 15 pound weighted blanket, which is awesome all year round, but especially for the cold weather. Again, make sure you check out everything new at rvmattress.com slash mat. And just so you guys know, if there is a promotion going on that's a bigger discount than our promotion, that will automatically get applied when you click our link. Thanks so much, let's check out the next one. Guys, we're over two thirds done. We got seven more that you're not gonna wanna miss. So the next one here is going to be an RV. Guys, Matt's RV reviews. I told you you're not gonna wanna miss this. You ready for this? For the holidays, I do not recommend buying an RV for your spouse. Who would have thought I would have said that? Here's what I mean, guys. When it comes to buying an RV, if you are this customer, if you walk into the deal, okay, this is for the men out there. The men, you are not allowed to buy your wife's an RV for the holidays. And here's what I mean, okay? If you say, you know what? I think it'd be a good idea to buy my wife an RV for the holidays. And you come up to this Montana here and you're like, yep, I think this is the one she would like. I think it'd be this one. Guys, save yourselves the trouble and don't buy it for her. That is not a good idea because let me tell you something. You are going to be in the dealership the very next week trading it in because you bought, you thought it was a great idea to buy an RV without your wife. Guys, if you come to the dealership, guess what's gonna happen? We're gonna sell it to you, right? It's what we do, but don't make that mistake. Now, with that said, if you if you are the if you're the wife, I don't know how else to say it. If you're the wife, you can do this because the wife is gonna, the husband is gonna be happy enough just to have an RV. He's not gonna care about the looks or what brand it is. He's just gonna be happy that you're ready to go camping. But the other way around, guys, we live in an unfair world and I'm sorry, it's not gonna work that way. Or here is the time. So here is the time to buy an RV. So if you and your wife, if you and your spouse, I'm gonna say spouse, if you and your spouse has been to the dealership and you guys have landed on the right RV and you said, you know what? We know we're getting a charcoal gray sanctuary 19 PT and you guys have already decided on the one. Both parties have agreed to which one you're getting okay. Then that is when it's a good idea to bring an RV home. But the whole point guys, the whole point of the story is if there's two parts of a relationship and if both parts aren't in 100% agreement with what RV you should be getting or if the second party doesn't even know that you're shopping for an RV, it's not a good idea. But if you guys are both on the same page and you both like what's going on, then yeah, buy that RV. So next up is 
liquefied the best RV black toilet treatment in the RV industry. So if you're watching this video, odds are liquefied is not for sale yet, but it should be before, before the end of November. And here's the thing, guys. I own Liquify 100%. It's, it's our company. It's my company. But I'm going to have to give this a hard no. Do not buy RV black tank treatment for the holidays. Guys, I know you guys want to support the show. And please, here's what I will say. Please buy Liquify for your RV. But do not buy it for somebody and give it as a gift for the holidays. Guys, I know I know what you're thinking. It's going to be fun. They like Matt's RV reviews. I don't think it's a good idea to buy your spouse black tank treatment. Now, here's what I will say. If you are buying it for your friends, yeah. But don't buy it for your spouse, guys. Bad idea. Trust me. Believe me when I say that. Next up is... Oh, this is cool, the Solo Stove. This was also a recommendation from Jen. I highly recommend this. This is just a cool little gift. Uh, as you guys can see there, it's like an aluminum tin can. They're a little bit pricey, so I think there's different sizes of them. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't know them that well, but they make little fire pits, and I, I think they're really, really cool. They're a neat gift. They're a cool little novelty, but something that's also functions real well. I actually have some customers that have a solo stove and they just rave about it. So that is definitely a great gift. So next up here, we have Snap Pads. Guys, I highly, highly recommend this. Snap Pads is a great gift to give for the holidays. Here's why. It's a quality gift. Um, I have a promotion with Snap Pads, just so everybody knows. And the link down below uh, gets you 10% off also when you use my promo code but guys snap pads is a quality gift it's so much better than the leveling blocks and you take them you apply them one time and then they permanently stay on your rv guys it is it is such a great feature i'm trying to see if i can see an rv with snap pads um and i and i can't see it but you guys see it on the screen snap pads is one of the best gifts you can get anybody for the holidays and they come in a nice box. All you gotta do is go to Snap Pads and give them your year make a model. And what it does is it gives you, it permanently stays on. It gives you more surface area uh, for the pad. And it makes it so you don't need those leveling blocks. Now, with that said, you should still keep your leveling blocks because there is some very unlevel stuff. But the Snap Pads, they just do such a great job stabilizing your RV, giving you more surface, and it works for the grass, the dirt, the concrete, everything that you need. So link down below to Snap Pads. I think that's a great gift idea. All right, guys, we're down to the final stretch. So let's see what the next one is. A Reed Atlas book. Guys, I promise you, this was on several people's list of gift recommendations for the holidays. Guys, this is on my list as a not recommendation. Do not buy this for the holidays. Guys, nobody reads the Atlas books. Nobody wants the Atlas books. Don't buy Atlas books for the holidays. And listen, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but the person that wants the Atlas book, they're gonna spend the $14.99 or the $19.99, and they're gonna buy it themselves, and they're gonna read it themselves. And there's a ton of people on this earth that love that stuff, and they get it, but guys, don't get it for anybody for the holidays. There's a reason, if they don't have it, there's a reason why. It's because nobody does the Atlas books anymore. It's the thought that counts, and we love the ideas, but there are 16 better ideas that I've said on this video so far that is better than the Atlas book. Just don't buy the Atlas book. All right, next up is a Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth speakers is definitely a recommendation that I recommend for the holidays. Um, tons of people like them. They hook up to your phone. You have speakers on the outside. They're small, they're portable. Guys, you could buy cheap ones, I think, for like $19.99, and you could buy expensive ones for $300. Um, obviously, I'm going to recommend the Furion ones because Furion's owned by Lippert, but you can buy any Bluetooth speaker. People love those, and those are a great idea. Okay, next up here, the Thermal Scent 
the thermal cell insect repeller. Guys, my hand to God. This is a recommendation on several people's blog posts for gifts for the holidays. Guys, that is a negative for me. So by the way, thermal cell insect repeller, best in the business. Please don't come after me. Thermal cell is the best in the business. Should each and every one of you stop this video right now and buy thermal cell insect repeller if you hate bugs? Absolutely. I don't have a sponsorship with them. I'm gonna buy some when I get home. But you better believe it that Andrea is not getting that for the holidays. And nobody I know is getting the insect repeller for the holidays. Guys, I don't know what people are thinking. This is the holiday gift guide. Nobody wants insect repeller for the holidays. Do not do it. Do not do it. And do not do it. Okay? And then now it's time for the final recommendation. And it is an Instapot. Guys, RVers love to cook. This is definitely a recommendation. Um, I don't like to cook, but I like to eat. And when it comes to RV travel, it's all about being small, it's all about being nimble and portable, and nothing does a better job better than the Instapot. I have no sponsorships or affiliation with them. I don't even care if you buy the Instapot brand. It's just any brand of Instapot or any type of pot like that is a great gift for the holidays. Guys, that's it. That's my 25 holiday gift recommendations. Again, I've linked all 25 below if I recommended them or if I didn't recommend them. And guys, do me a huge favor. Leave a comment down below if there's any gifts that you think people should buy or also comment down below if there's a gift that you got that you thought, you know what, this is not a good gift for our viewers, not for the holidays anyway. Also, let me know if you like this style of video. I kinda did it a TikTok style, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was trying to make it fun and different. You guys are gonna see everybody's gonna have a video like this for the holidays, and you should definitely watch and support your favorite YouTubers, but you know me, I always try to be a little different, and I like to think a little bit outside the box. So if you guys appreciated that, comment this, comment down below, and also share this video with your RV or friends. It really does mean the world to me. I hope everybody has a great holiday. And if there's any gifts that you get, get or got off this list, I'd love to hear it down below. And finally, if there's a gift that I recommended that you think is a bad gift for the holidays, or if it's a bad gift for the holidays that I said that you think's actually a good gift, I'd love to hear your feedback as well. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you tomorrow with another RV review.